Hell, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Hey, my name is Takina Rakawa. I'm the Wave Operation Manager for Surf House Phuket. And right now with me, we have the Team Asia Ash Flowbots, and we have the man himself, Mr. Ash Scott House, in Phuket. And like, we're gonna like interview him and ask him how the Ash Revolution started in the flowboarding scene. All right, uh, Scott. So how you about tell us more about yourself and tell me like how the Ash brand started and now you are in Asia traveling like three countries. Venues in the room, and like, how do you feel? Uh, Flowboard started um, actually. I started making boards for house floorboards and um, making prototypes for them, and then I kind of just took over making the boards for them. They, they stopped making them, and then um, I continued to start making boards um, out of my house, and then I started Ash. And, um, it's just been growing ever since. It's like it's like a time bomb now. <laughs> Everything just evolves just like dramatically. And it's taking over the scene. Okay? Uh well yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick though. Anyway, um, now it's your anniversary. You're traveling around Asia with your wife Amanda. Mm -hmm. So sick. And then like you've been traveling to Singapore, Bangkok, Blue House and now South House Phuket. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel about the three different three different venues now you've been here for the past two weeks, one week plus? Um, <clears throat> I think all the venues are super rad. Um, it's rad that Sentosa has the barrel and uh, a lot of good barrel riders out there. And um, it's awesome to go to all the venues and see all these good riders riding my board. And, um, and a lot of, seeing a lot of potential riders that could be um, sponsored in the future by Ash Floorboards and um, I <clears throat> couldn't, couldn't have done it without you and Sham and, um, and now our, we have our newest rider here, Fatty, and <clears throat> picked up another rider in Bangkok, um, O, and um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's been unreal. Like, the, the people out here in Asia are so nice and you know, I think that's probably the best thing that I love about Asia is, is the people out here. Do you like the Asian food? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love it. I heard like you like like uh, curry. <laughs> yeah, Thai curry. I, I love Thai curry. Yeah. Scott just so loves to eat. Yeah, he <laughs> loves to eat. I heard from the boys in Singapore, he loves to eat fish, Everything. curry, and Amanda yeah. loves the food too. And like she's enjoying her trip. Mm -hmm. And like pretty stoked to have you. And yeah. like Sham. Now we go back to Sham. Hi guys, this is Sham Jamal. He's from Singapore with House Sentosa. He's a captain for the Ash Asia Flowboard team now. And like. Uh, Sham, tell me about like uh, you've been riding for Ash close to a year now and you're the first one that's sponsored by Ash. How do you feel about the Ash revolution taking over flowboarding scene and like everything you know, the scene in Singapore and Thailand? Like, so yeah. uh, I feel proud and uh, honored to be riding at Ash. You know, like the man himself is a super humble kind of person. And uh, yeah. I'm pretty stoked to, uh, to, be, to be even riding sport and like representing him all around Asia. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty an honor to, to be riding. It's pretty fun. The board, I mean the board itself is, is pure wood that we use to skate and yeah, it's easy than whatever tricks you, you guys are trying to do. So yeah. And Scott, back to you. Yeah? Um, the board itself is pretty unique. Like a lot of riders have been asking me, like the board is really, really similar to a wig skateboard and similar to a skateboard. How do you like um, start like making the board like have the dimension, have the idea to it? And, like, how do you start at your warehouse? Tell me about like how you grow from the bottom now we here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I have a huge uh, skateboarding background, skateboarding for maybe 12 years, and um, with all the flowboarding tricks being more directed towards skateboarding and less surfing, um, I kind of have that advantage. So, um, yeah, with the concave and the cove dead on the bottom of the board, making it a little bit easier to, to, to do the tricks, and even for a beginner rider just to ride, and just, it's just an easier board to ride. So. Um, and and it, I just basically developed it by tr all trial and error. So basically, I design something, I myself will ride it and make sure that that's uh, 
that it's working or if it's not working most of the time it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's actually the, the fun part about building the flow boards because um, building flow boards is really repetitive so the innovation part is is the fun part of it so that I really enjoy. Now, um, we, for this year, I think 2014, you develop a carbon fiber board, uh, fiber board itself, like uh, you already have four pro model out there. And how do you like want to tell your customer out there, your fans out there, like the difference between a, a fiber board and a wood board? How does it like uh, transcend to the two different elements? Well, first of all, it's way more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the fiberglass boards is just a more durable board. You don't have to really do any maintenance on it, um, and the, it's it's a lot stiffer than the wood boards. And that stiffness it holds its life compared to a wood board. Like any wake skate or skateboard, eventually it will start getting soft and lose its pop. It doesn't feel brand new. Where the fiberglass boards they keep that so. Um, it's just a, a better, it's just a better board, and and it's all a lot lighter, which doesn't mean that's a, a better thing. It's just all self preference with the rider, but um, yeah, it just gives uh, the riders more of an option to pick not just a wood, a heavy wood board, but now there's the fiberglass boards, and we have uh, like you were saying, three pro models out now: um, TK, Chuck Wright, and Brad Spencer, and uh, they're all from the U.S. And um, yeah, so hopefully this is my way of um, being able to pay them and, uh, and push the sport the direction that I want it to go because uh, like any other board sport, there's pros, They're, they have pro models, they make money off their pro models and um, there, wasn't, there was never anything like that in the sport and so that's the direction I want to go. Yeah, that's sick. It's like call. Yeah. Yeah. And um, let me introduce another rider. This is Fadi Furel, the flamingo man from Wave House and Toza. He's the new man in the team for this year 2014. So Fadi, um, tell me how your feelings that you get to be in the Ash team. Are you super so uh, sick, like super amped for it? I'm really really stoked to be in the Ash team. Uh, I've been riding Ash for I think close to two years now. So the board is sick. Uh, I was using the Outlaw, Wavelock Outlaw before, but now I'm riding the Ash board, I feel much more secure with my feet and everything. Yeah. But now I'm in the team, I'm really, really stoked to be in the team. Cool, oh, man, nice words, man. Um, Scott, there's words out there that you're the Roddy Mullen and Mike Bellini of like uh, flowboarding. Like uh, you transcend differently from other flowboarders out there, and you don't do competition. You just pure flowboard, and like you have a huge following around the world. How do you, how do you think that? Um, <clears throat> I, I just feel super blessed that I see so many people on my board and to come across the other side of the world and see so many good riders and beginner riders and. Riding the board is, yeah, it, it, I can't even explain it, it just feels so blessed. Cool, cool. So um, now you already been to Wave House in Toza, Blue House Bangkok, and up there. Um, next year, do you think going to do another trip? Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to bring um, some of the US team riders, the pro riders out here, and um, to join forces with the Asia riders, and and just have a good time, and shred, and, and ride, and, hang out and meet more people and yeah. Okay, so now we are already in Phuket and Phuket is an awesome place everybody knows that you, see, like, you have a beach lifestyle, we have Surf House Phuket as a venue, as a hub for like what spots right now in Phuket. How do you feel about like uh, now in Phuket for like two days and you party hard last night <laughs> <laughs> and like how do you wish? <laughs> Uh, I feel hungover. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a lot, a lot slower pace than Bangkok for sure. A lot less people, and um, it, it's rad. I, I just really love the, the scenery here, and and um, and then the, the venue itself actually too is, is really awesome. And that, yeah, that party went off last night. <laughs> All right. Um, any last words you want to tell out your fan out there, for your fan base, your customer base, and like all your followings? Any last words you want to tell to all of them? 
Um, I just want to say thank you. Cup in the middle. Trying to. Yeah, that's the best thing though. Any last words, Sean? Yeah, last and foremost, I would like to thank uh, to all the Thai people for being kind to us, the production crew. Thanks everybody thank for supporting you. us. Yeah, thank you. Um, Thai flowboarding is going off the roof right now. Up next, we're gonna go to Philippine Manila. We're gonna see how the flowboarding scene down there, and we hope that all the Asian country will be having a good time with Ash Flowboards, and we're gonna rock the world, man. Thank you. 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 Thank you.